I'm playing into the Necro Veil, and while this isn't a sponsored video, it was supposed to be, and I'm gonna give a massive shout out to the solo developer, I'm, I'm at least 90% sure it's a solo dev, for sending me a code which I've not used. <laughs> I'll explain context. So, in my email, in everyone's email, as you understand, you've got your regular inbox, you might have an other section, and then you've got a junk section. Now, I have no way of deciding what ends up in the junk, and yes, I'm supposed to take stuff out of junk, but I got an email, I'm assuming about a week or two ago, maybe even three weeks ago, about Into the Necro Veil. At the time, I was busy working on other stuff, but I looked at it, I saw the game, and I went, this looks like it's right up my alley, I'm gonna mark it down in my little notepad that I keep, of all my next like videos and ideas for things and I'll mark it in there check out into the necro veil music by the way email is, is has the code and all that kind of stuff in there I'll do that later lo and behold I come back to my email and I can't find it I'm searching for my email I don't have it I'm assuming it must have been in junk and got automatically removed after a week as everything in my junk folder is in any case I went out of my way to go and grab into the necro veil and check it out regardless and so this isn't technically sponsored but he did let me know about this, and I want to give a big thank you to the dev for doing that anyway, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that we lost it. Now, this is... I'm not really sure how to describe it. On one hand, I think it's an action rogue, but on the other hand, I think it's also like a dungeon crawler, action RPG, Diablo, like, adjacent kind of thing. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is, solo developer, I made a big goof. Can we begin our journey and stop rambling on about how I'm I'm shit at my job? Awaken it, listen, for I am the father of your father, the father of all, the all father? You have too many eyes to be Odin. Am I meant to, am I meant to, I, I gotta be clicking, okay. And you, unloved, unknown, how? Ouch. Least of my sons, a stranger to this world? It is you I have chosen to tear this tired world apart. Hurtful. Hold fast, for your ordeal is only beginning. <laughs> if that's only the beginning, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to brace myself. I've already been called unloved and the and the, the least of sons. Son of a bit, dude. The presentation on this for a solo developer project is godlike. Well done. I've I've played and and dabbled with my my fair share of solo developer projects, and I'm always amazed at what you guys can pull off. These passion projects are, are amazing. We've arrived. This is where our path ends and yours begins in earnest. Beyond that bridge is the Necro Veil, the realm of the dead. When you cross the bridge, do not look back. You no longer belong to this world. I'm a dead man walking. Minus five hope. The Necro Veil is a place of endless despair. Hope is a scarce commodity. It's literally a okay. To enter, you will have to sacrifice your last vestige of hope. Only the hopeless may enter. Take this prisoner. The father preserve you. Oh good, a jewel. Thank you. That's a that's a big jewel right there. Cool. So I I'm s I wasn't sure if this was gonna be like a, a controller style game, but I understand that I have a lot of Yeah, I got a lot okay, this might be a mouse and keyboard kind of deal. So what's my interface right now? Health, power, hold shift and attack to spend it on a power move. Fair enough. We have hope. I'm at negative five. Hope is earned from clearing levels. It is lost when you die. Exchange it for crystals of hope at the end of a run. Ah, uh, so I need to build these up. Okay. So what's stopping me? I have my little dodge roll. What's stopping me from like running away and being like, I don't, I don't want to go. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Um. Bitch? Bit. Well, this might be one of the fastest deaths I have ever incurred at the beginning of it. Um, pretend it didn't happen. Don't make our work difficult. Okay, your destination is ahead of the Ecrovel. Death or despair, make your choice and go forth. Ooh, could I? Like, I have more despairy now. Ah, oh, shit. No, wait. I'm gloomy? Ah, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I do over? Nah, we won't do a do over. We'll come down here and we'll just. Whoa, hey! Alrighty then, alrighty then, we're winning. It's a what now? A tinkling bell. Projectiles do much more poise damage. Stunning. I've got 500% more projectile poise damage? That sounds like a ton, dude. 
So I can punch dudes. I've got a block by the looks of it, and I can punch. All right. We've started off correctly. Give me a bow, and I'm ready to go. Can I... This, this place is, like, full of secrets. I can't... Fine, whatever. We're going inside. What is this? The Necroveil Gate. Hold E to unlock the door. But I just got this, dude. Ah, oh, fine. Whatever. Whatever. The Vestibule. This is a solo dev game? Please. Skellymans! Get away. Get away. Ah! Okay, so that... Damn, they lunge forward a lot. So that shows their attack coming out. That little... Um, target aim on their body shows their attacks coming in. So there's a lot of... I like that. That's clear indication of attacks on the way. Rusted Blade. All right. It's already equipped. Good. Power move three. So that costs my my special green meter that's got five over here. Okay. So we do 20 damage. Attacks per second to unleash a series of attacks. Okay. The pit. I'm ready to go to the pit. Let me just... Is there anything in the barrels and boxes, or am I wasting my time? Power builds with normal attacks. Press Q or hold Shift and attack to spend it on a... I can hit Q as well. Ah, uh, I like pressing one button for these things, so I'm glad there's that option. So if I... Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Whoa! Oh, there you go! Each weapon has a unique power move. Inspect them to see more details. Fair enough. Are you like... Holy shit, my cat just scared the hell out of me. Did you hear that? I'm gonna have to go back and see if that's audible, but she just like... She just like... Picked up and slammed her little water bowl and it, it made a really loud noise. Scared the hell out of me. A bow! I do tons of poise damage, right? Yeah! Powerful arrow that pierces all enemies. Um... Okay, so no click and drag. What if I right click? No, it's just click in place. That's fine. We can do that. I got a bow. Dude! I'm ready. So this is like tutorial land where it's telling me all about the different things I can... No. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I need a power attack. Oh! Okay. The bow was kind of nuts, dude. I was worried that it was going to be a little bit on the weak side. I'm getting hope. I'm becoming a hope for... Oh. Eat a shield. Offhand items give you special abilities. Once equipped, activate them with right mouse. So... Oh, it's my actual... I can inch along while holding up my shield. Dude, cool. So, block mobility 10%. So, it's telling me that I can... Alright, the Sanguinary or the Cemetery. So, blood and bleeding, either that's a pay life to get something or a gain life. Because, you know, Sanguinary or Cemetery. Go Cemetery. I like my bony boys. I mean... Whatever, let's just stay the course. We like bony boys. Exhume the Grave for 5 hope. Oh. So, I can spend my hope to... Dig for random goodies. Unlock the door for a skill. Okay, there's a key in here somewhere. All right. Youth tonic. Was that, did that actually say youth tonic? It did. Dealing damage while under the effects of the youth tonic will restore life. Health steal 10%. That's pretty good. And that's a 40 health heal. Okay, good. Uh, how about this one? A single coin. All right, let's go down here to the one with the with the cool headstone on it. This one's this is a rich person, right? This is fine, whatever. So I haven't got any hope anymore. Can I waste my last one, or is it just gonna say you don't have enough? Wait, I can go into despair. Can I go into the negative? I can go into the negative. I can keep spending. All right, cool. Get the key. Open the gate. Come in here. Crack open this chest for a razor ice blade. It instantly freezes all enemies you hit. That's Sick! Wait, a barrage of ice shards. That counts as a projectile, right? Ooh. Yo, the attack? Was the other one like that? No. It's like a slash and a stab. This one's like big sweeping strikes. Alright, I'm not gonna open anymore because... Hello? There's a ghost. I've seen what you've done. I've seen what you are. I've seen it all that I won't forget. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, I guess desecrating graves. Lady? Can I talk to you? Hello? Can I fuck you up? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> Slayer of Slayers. Back into the vestibule. Hope is gained from clearing levels and lost when dying. Once gone entirely, you will face 
via cons. Okay, so this is, it really is a commodity. So you build hope by clearing rooms and it's a little bit like money, although we do have gold over here as well. So, but you spend this on like interactables and things within your, your runs. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, I got to get better at dodging. That's for sure. Cool. I'm getting hit, but cool. Freezing. It's a little on the slow side. I will say that. More dudes? More dudes. Yeah, these guys, they lunge. When they want to lunge, they lunge, dude. I gotta I gotta remember that they're gonna go really far. Like it's it's way more than I think it's gonna be. Ooh. Ooh, oh, 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 hello. Black ice charm. Legendary amulet. Frozen enemies turn into pillars of ice when they die. You could not make this. Is this is this am I being set up right now? Is this just like tutorial land thing where it's like, ooh, here you go. Invisible danger just claimed many unsuspecting lives. And this goes, ah, uh, it goes over the top of my bell, but I mean, come on now. We're not gonna, we're not gonna balk at this nice legend temple of hope. Give me hope. Cool. Completing a level rewards you with crystals of hope. Spend them wisely. They are a rare and precious thing in the Necro Veil. Is that this thing down here? It said I had to pray to the mother. So dad has condemned me and mother is helping me. Your prayer was heard. You've been blessed. Can I pray? I can pray more? Ah. Oh, it's, it, it's based on how much um, hope I've brought here. So yeah, 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 yeah. So if I had more hope. So if I didn't go into the negative by digging up, I would have more. And I could probably get more of these by... Di uh, okay. What's my power attack look like? Sick. Okay. I like that. I like that. I'm keeping this weapon for now. The refuge. Is this my... Whoa, holy map, Batman. Look at this pla- So I finished that. I've gone, you know, I, I went into hell. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the Necro Vale. Holy shit. So each flag is an area I've got to go through. I'm assuming that's like a mini boss. Is this where I got to go first? The Necro Vale dungeons? The River of Souls. The Palace of the Witch. I like that. Balls of Shadow. The Horn Slack Ruins. So if I, I just click... I love the little finger, dude. I love games where your mouse turns into a little glove and you like, I mean, I played WoW for like 14 years, so I mean, I'm a little bit biased, but I love little clicky hands. It also goes back to the old days, you know, like PC gaming, you know, hasn't been the same since gloves stopped being mouse, <laughs> since the mouse stopped being gloves as often. Another lost soul has washed ashore on our little island. Hello. You don't have a top on. I hope you're a dude. You better be a dude. Sorry to say, but it's no better than the ocean of hopelessness out there. There's no escape, I'm afraid. No hope, and certainly no point. The music! Wait, I got an extra one. When did I get an extra one? Was it from the chest? I thought I only had one. It doesn't matter. Dude, this is a one-man operation? Okay, that is is sick. Necro Veil Dungeons. What, what is all this? Oh, this is to open up the different pathways to get to the places. So it's a world hub where I can like do all of my stuff. If I had four, I can open that. Oh, there's the the Malingara guy again, the one that I killed. Hello? Is that a person down there? Uh, is can I can I open all of these? No. Okay, so a lot of these are very expensive. Much out of my Ooh, I just slapped it because it was barrels, dude. We have stuff over here. Hang on. Secret hallway. Who are you? What are you? Pray to the Watcher for th I'm I still- I can't even afford three. Dull Ember plus one. Upgrades an item directly to refinement level one at the forge. I don't have the forge available right now. So you're a merchant that doesn't sell anything, but if I give you one of my hope crystals... Affection! So all the NPCs have like... Okay, have you got a shirt on all of a sudden? Thank you, stranger. There's no sense in sitting around moping, I guess. I lost everything when I was sent here, but I suppose I can sell a few trinkets. What's the harm? Aha! We now have a vendor and we can sell stuff. Excellent. Your attacks electrify enemies, cause them to take more damage. That sounds sick, but I cannot afford that. A long sword, maulers, fist weapons. I got bear claws in this game. Okay, okay. Stoke the fire. I don't know what stoking the fire is going to achieve, but I've got one. Spend it. Oh, I canceled. Hang on. Enjoy fire. Blessing of warmth. Your max life is increased by 20%. Okay, okay, so we, get, we can get a blessing. Can I just leave now then? Let's go back into the Necrovale dungeons. I'm assuming this is... There we go. All right. 
dungeon level one. The kennels. Put down the pack hounds. Oh, don't say that. Oh, shit. That's a lot of dogs. Ow. Yeah, get frozen. So when they die, oh, that's what it means with that, that legendary um, effect that I got was. Ooh. Okay, so when they attack, they just rush at you. That's why. Okay. Cleared 13 hope. I like it. I like it. Slap. Give me my stuff. A dirty bandana. Potion duration goes up. Cool. Except I only have... Well, I have health steal potions. They're pretty good. I've gone to the cemetery already. That's where you dig for stuff. I want to go to the effigy. Although I could go back to the cemetery and that ghost lady might be pissed at me, but I already know it's going to cost a lot of hope to dig around. What's in the effigy? Pay respects to the crusader. Hold to improve effigy for one. Pay, press F to pay respects. <laughs> blessing received. You will better rest. You'll better resist despair. With this blessing, you are more resistant to despair. Hope gain plus 15%. Okay, so I have unlocked the door for six. So there's a lot of permanent progression, like upgrade. Oh, I need to. Dude, I'm going to need these resources for everything, aren't I? The crypt or the bone yard. Okay, so these kind of sound very similar, but crypt implies coffins, which implies robbery of graves, maybe? Kill all the Draugr. So the skeleton guys are called Draugr. Oh my god. Is that a legendary preserved eyeball? Dude, this sword is insane. I'm just going to save my power stuff for now. I'll just spend it when I get the chance to, to blow another dude up. I don't think there's anything in these, although the one time I stop doing it, there'll be something in them. What did I get? Oh, there it is. Preserved eye... Wait, wait, wait. My friend. My buddies. You're in my way, friends. Die. Thank you for the hope. Now, what does this do? Increase the number of attacks you create for a time. Increase the number... So it... it I get... What? Legendary chewable? Okay, so I need to save that. That's that's for damn sure until I fight like a boss or something. Provides no defense but slightly increases movement speed. Thank you. Treasure vault. Nah, treasure vault. It's called treasure vault, dude. Of course I'm going to the treasure vault. Collect some treasure from the cat. Thank you. Ill-fitting cap. Which would replace my potion duration dirty bandana, but potion duration sounds pretty damn sick if we've got things like, you know, extra attacks and health steal. Lowers your accuracy but increases your defense. Nah, I don't care. I don't need to worry about that. That's a lot, dude. The cat silently watches and judges. Of course it judges me. You're also huge. He seems to be expecting a gift. Probably shouldn't keep hitting that in case he gets mad at me. Um, yeah, one day. Not not right now. One day, dude. I like how it shows where they're going to spawn in, though. That's handy. There we go. Whoa. I am an Ice King. I am the Ice King. Dude! <laughs> That's very satisfying, man. I am the bitch king. Look at all my hope. i got to spend some of this. No, actually, if I keep all this hope, if I have 100 hope when I get to the end, I could pray a lot to mummy and get a lot of... <laughs> get a lot of stuff. The Wanderers emits energy bolts that veer off course. Release many bolts to seek their target. Uh Aha. -huh. Is this... Oh, okay. I was going to say... The way it was described, I thought it was going to be the, the electric ball spell. Okay, kennels we've been to, stronghold. The electric ball spell from, like, the, you know, Diablo Sorceress kind of thing where it shoots out random lightning bolts. One of, like, the Sorceress's best early spells, you know, just casually. So even if I miss with that, it just fires projectiles, so I'm okay. Come here. Come here a minute. No, don't. Come here a minute. I will interrupt all of your attacks. No. No, 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 no. Did I just do 160 damage? I'm already the best. I'm already... God damn, there's a lot of... There's a lot of wolves in this room, dude! Too bad for the wolves. 
I have a... Holy shit! It's a lot of wolves, man. I have a PhD in puppy slay. <laughs> say that. <laughs> Come on, man. This is the last wave, right? Yay! And I got a single dollar. <laughs> I got a dollar. But I got a lot of hope, though, so that's fine. And a chest. A short bow. Ah. Send out a deadly arrow. I mean, yeah, but... Oh, Temple of Hope, that's the end, right? I should have spent my power more. I need to just spam this thing when I've got it. I'm saving it in case there's like a big fight. But I don't think we get big fights until... She took all of my hope. Wait, does it just take what's left? So if, if you can spend hope... Oh, so having a ton of hope may not be that necessary. If I want, if I need to spend my hope, unless there's like a, I don't know. I don't know. I need to, I need to figure that out. Maybe there's like a minimum cap to like for each, each one that you'll get. Yay, I'm on my way. Cool. There's, there's probably like a minimum cap. Now I've got two here, so I could, stranger, I found some new items. Come have a look. Just call me a hoe. <laughs> Found a few. What the fuck is that word? A tamashanda. Your attacks have longer range. Selling some of the things that I don't want. Now I only have two, so I could increase my stash. I cannot make the fire better. I could give two more to the merchant. Make the merchant a little bit better. Oh, look, look, look at the outfit. Ah. Oh. This is great. You're right, for my kindness, I can be a little more generous with prices. Also, things are cheaper, 20% bonus. Okay, so for sale, 20% off and sell. I should have waited to sell. Okay, okay, I, I've learned, I've learned. I have nothing left, I may as well just keep going. I have no resources left. I have money, but I gotta wait until I find something I really want. So far, the combination of this razor ice blade and the black ice charm, sexy. So I get two crystals for this, so I will, incrementally get more crystals so I can keep upgrading things and progressing. So it's it's like a staggered, you know, I wouldn't say time released really, because it's like, okay, buddy. Oh, they like dash at you. All right. It's kind of like you're unlocking things. You're just unlocking them as you progress through. It's just, it's just a way of doing that. But I guess you could choose where you want to spend stuff. So you can unlock things incrementally, but in an order of your own choosing. It's nice, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. You will sometimes evade attacks. Haven't had to use a potion yet, so yeah, let's throw that on. Now the crypt we've been to, the kennels we've been to... Uh, do I care? No, the crypt was where we had to pay respects to the guy, but... And I got a blessing for that. Let's go to the crypt. This is the same place. No, no it's not. Damn. What was the place we had to pay respects? God, get destroyed, buddies. No, 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 no. A quicksilver vial. Perish. Absolutely perish. A sip of shiny metal increases your base evasion. Delightful. If I put that there, I don't need two youth tonics at the same time. I'm not even sure I'm going to need any tonic anytime soon. I've been doing really good so far at not getting absolutely blown up. A book. Gain hope when starting a level. Hope per level plus one. As in just like my... So 26, if I go to the cache, does it just go 27? No. I am now unsure. Ah, so I need to... Uh, okay, so the cash gets better. Crude helmet. The cash will get better if I keep investing in it. Yeah, everything needs investment. Okay, I understand. 5% defense. Now nah, take the evasion. I thought that... Bro. I... <laughs> Don't even lie. Don't even lie. You are obligated to confess in the comment section if you read the butthole as well. Because I definitely was like, the what? I'm going where? Find and kill the cutthroats. Ow! Yo, these guys are assholes! No. Yeah. Maybe I should do, like, like a bait and dash on these guys. 
don't know why I'm attacking all the stuff as though they're going to come popping out. So there's nine hopeless remain. Oh, that range though. Okay, so ooh. maybe like that. Holy shit, that dude, that hurt. That hurt so bad. All right, so we've got a potion on one that we can. There we go. These guys hurt. I need to like maybe dash through them as they dash at me. So do that. Ha! Huh? Ah! But be very careful. Um. Pop it. Holy shit! Okay. Stop it! Stop it! I've got a. There's nothing down here. My potion's gonna run out. Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to heal more. No! Seer's amulet. What do we got here? Your attacks have much more range. What does that replace? Oh. That is nice, though. Prison! My 15 seconds aren't up yet. Oh, hello there, the wretch. <laughs> Can I get in here? No? Okay. Can I go down there? No? Okay. Sure. Hello. Hello. I only needed one hope, and I don't even have that. So I need to remember to come into my runs. There's a, oh, there's a break. Look, look, oh, I could see it. I could see, yes, dude, there's a little break. Yep, ah, oh, fine. I gotta remember to come into these runs with some, some hope stones still on me. You can feel it, can't you? Moment by moment, the despair building and growing, fading on you like a leech. Only a matter of time before it becomes too much and you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> No one is immune from this place. No one escapes. A new acquaintance. Yay! I met the, the, the guy that's chained up and imprisoned, and there's nothing in here for me, so i got to bring hope stones with me whenever I come in. The butthole. Dude. Dude, is it more of those guys? It is. Shit. Okay, we got to get good at dodging this stuff. Is that my... Yes. Okay, so... Dodge when they arrive at you. They don't actually, like, lunge with, like, an attacking lunge. They lunge, land, and then stab. I'm dodging too early. So wait. Yeah! There we go. Okay. Okay. Only problem is if, like, two or three of them all chain these attacks together, it's a bit tricky. But we can manage this. Bait. Yeah! And he has, he has a limited range. Okay. He can't go forever. Bitch. No. If I just run up and catch you, you're screwed. How are there 16 more of these guys left? What do you mean? <gasps> Preserved eye. I get more attacks. Wait, maybe this is a good time to use my dodge vial. No. No. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Stuff! Okay, there is stuff in the barrels and boxes. I'm getting, I'm getting like coins here and there. It's only like one coin at a time, but one coin could be all that I need. No, no. There we go. I will decimate you people. What is that by the, oh, it's healing. There's just little globs of healing I can find. Take that. Nice. Thank you. I like it. I need... I've got 52 hope. That's pretty good hope. Oh, I'm at the Temple of Hope right now. So at 52, am I still only going to get one stone? Or is... No, is it based on... Is this just the reward I get all the time? Yeah, because it said I get two at the end of the run, so it's based on how much I get. So... So, is praying at the statue just to reset your hope to zero? It doesn't do anything else. It is lost when you die. Exchange it for crystals of hope at the end of a run. Okay, so the hope and despair system will continue to confuse me for the rest of the video, but I figured I'd swing in now and let you know that, like a good boy, I did my homework when I finished recording, and I now understand how it works, thanks to the dev putting out a post on the forums over on Steam, letting us know that what you basically do is when you finish a normal run, as he says, you have about 50 hope just by clearing a normal run with all the rooms that you'll clear. You get about 12, 13 at the end of each room. And you will get half the crystal reward from that level. So if you're meant to get like four, then you'll get two just by doing the run normally and you'll, you know, pray away all of your hope and that's what you'll do. 
but any additional hope that you earn during the run, which is why the Harlot, which I can't recall if we've come across the Harlot in the video yet, but we'll come across the Harlot. She helps you with extra hope as well as I think there's a few other events that can do the same, but there's also events that can take more of your hope away, which is why it works the other way, as he says, and any hope that you spend during the run will net you less crystals. So if your goal in a run is to get more crystals, then you want to take rooms that will boost your hope and avoid rooms that make you pay hope, like digging in graves and stuff like that. Just figured I'd swing in to let you guys know how it actually works because I'm a very confused fella in this video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you at the end. Oh, I've got four now. Wait, what? And I'm going to come and pray to whatever this thing is because it was hidden away so well. Pray to the Watcher. All right. I pray. Your prayer was heard. Your health has been increased. Oh. Oh, so I just keep praying to him for a, a constant health. Oh, 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 oh. I might get that. That's really strong. A little bit of everything. Armor. I don't have any armor. I might get that. Evasion, health, barrier, defense. I'm going to buy both of those. There we go. So my power gain is doubled. And I just have an actual piece of chest armor now that does a lot of stuff. So let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. And I have one jewel left. Let's go and just do the next one, I guess. So we get, what, level three now? But as far as I can see, there's rogue inspirations, but it's not like a true rogue. This is this is far more like Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Dungeon, dungeon crawler and 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 looter style thing, right? Which I like, don't get me wrong. This is this is this is sick so far. I'm really liking this. I like the weapon stuff, although like I'm I wanna find new weapons to try out, but when one of the first weapons that you get is so good, you know? I feel like I was playing me some, you know, some Dark Souls and I found the Claymore nice and early or some Elden Ring and I got that, that Bloodhound sword, you know, nice and early and everyone just keeps something for like majority of the entire game and will never give it up. Although I will have to get rid of this at some point, I'm sure, but right now, did you just give me a goddamn, oh, I swear. I don't think I've done either, have I? Did I do the cemetery or the courtyard last time? I'm gonna go to the cemetery. I don't remember if I've done this or not. Exhume the grace for a reward. Are we did yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We've done this. We've done this. I want that chest. That's not bad. That's good. Th th these are actually like they're nice. Yay, the key. Plus, I think doing this each time progresses the plot line with that ghost lady. Innocence, innocence path. Rat's nest. What is the innocence path? Shepherd the innocent to save. I've got an escort quest. Please help me, stranger. I can't do this alone. Oh no. Oh god, no. Okay. Just slay the shit. Slay the shit. Stay behind me, ma'am. No. No. You little shit. Okay, so he's aiming. <gasps> he hit my, my innocent. We're we good? Yay, you're alive. You're okay. That's going to get way harder in the future, though, isn't it? Thank you for the hope. Please take this. A ruddy chain. Thank you. I love ruddy chains. And cocker roots. A bit of root that energizes you as you chew it. Increases movement speed. Okay, that's nice. Um, I don't need... There we go. We'll do that. And large sanguine vial. Okay, cool. I went to the treasure vault. I needed at least, like, four to open up the different gates, didn't I? Or was that the cash? I've actually, I can't remember which is which now. They're like the same thing in my brain. It was this one! Shit! I had like a 50-50 and I still got it wrong. Damn it. Okay, well I need to... Oh, Great Hall Library. Go to the library. We get like a free book, right? Great Hall sounds kind of nice though, but yeah, we'll go to the library. What did I even just get? It was the, the, the Hawk Chopper. Quickly break an enemy's poise, stunning them. Kills are likely to drop health. That's kind of nice. Costs eight power to use, though. Pretty expensive, but I guess that makes sense. All right, what's in the library? <gasps> I'm being assaulted. Okay, so you got to be, like, very deliberate when you try and dodge. This, this weapon's attack is a little bit on the slow side, and I can't, like, dodge cancel straight away. Like, I've got to wait until my attack is completely finished, which makes sense. Makes sense. It's fine. It's fine. Get slain. I thought I was gonna dodge far, far, far further. Okay, stuff everywhere. 
I guess I go up there when I'm done. Uh, die. Uh, die. Yay! I should be like destroying more stuff in the rooms to check, but you know, I just I <laughs> I'm not fussed about that. Soothing spirit. On completing a level, you gain health back. Oh, that's cute. What goes up here? Gauntlets and gloves, right. The prison or the lab? Ooh. Ooh. You know I can't pass up going to the lab, dude. Collect the potions. Oh, cool. Cyanide! <laughs> you... Wait. Release yourself into nothingness, clearing all despair? The game just has a kill yourself item. <laughs> the mausoleum, please. Giving me a bloody bottle of cyanide, smart ass. There, die, die, die. Oh, you're a tough one, okay. You're a little toughy. No, no, you can't fight me. You can't fight this. Oh, actually, he's, he's got the moves. He's got the moves, dude. No. That was a lot of damage! Holy shit! Okay, okay, okay. Scared. Yo, Sanguine Vial, thank you. Ah! There we go, there we go. Big ulti. My big skill attack. I'm going to pop my youth potion so I get some health steal. That's a lot of health steal! That's a lot of health steal, dude. I like it. Ooh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I am a fan of that. How much health have I got? 47. We've got to be close to the end, right? There it is. Temple of Hope. I was going to say, my bags are filling up. So at 47, I'm meant to get three at a time. So I'll be at four guaranteed. How much extra do I get for my prayers? Hope some prayers. Three. I get three, even though I didn't. I don't. I don't know what. I don't get it. So I'm at four. Do I then go to seven? I'm confused. Or have I been counting? Have I been dumb this whole time? I am at seven. I don't understand. You need to have some hope to get it. Although I'm assuming there's like a minimum number of hope that you need. I don't know, man. Um, unlock this door. What am I? What is this? Upgrade item. Oh, this is where I need the the right. This is where I need the, the gem thingies. Hang on, hang on. Item Ember. This makes them at refinement level five. It will be raised to the next tier directly to refine level one. So this it only goes to one. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So ice strike goes up five percent. Damage goes up an extra six. Okay. But I can't do it again, can I? No. Can I upgrade other pieces like my my stone cool yeah i like that that's that's nice sick because i don't know i'm probably not gonna unless i do some cutting i'm not gonna do all the way up until the end of this area's boss which might take a little while clear the dragon knights oh he's got hyper armor oh shit Okay. Scary. Or does he not have... Petrified... What did the... What? The innocence of the fetus destroys all nearby enemies at high cost. For 20... So... Whoa! For 20 hope, it just obliterates everything nearby? Can I take that off? That sounds dangerous as hell, dude. <laughs> that sounds good, though. Okay, I need to get better at dodging. That's for damn sure. Okay, okay. I can't go to the cache. That's why. What? That's okay. Why? That's that's the wrong place. Cemetery. This is where I got to spend hope to dig, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna start digging here. Boop. No, not the fetus. I'm starting to get into the realms of despair, but I am very desperate to just open this, dude. I don't care. Thank you. All right. Give me. Give me the key. Thank you. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I've, I've gotten this every time so far. I'm not going to just pass it up now. Damn it, all that for an ill-fitting... Well, I did get a lot of potions. I got a bit of money. It's not bad. Uh, crypto with the candles. Let's go back to the candles. This is where all the dogs and shit are. 
put down the pack house. This was like the first room that we ever had, right? Memories. So those blue guys don't have hyper armor. They're probably just like elite enemies. Ow. Don't be buttheads. Perish. Wait, there's how many more packs? Perish. That's a lot of packs. If I just... Oh, I was going to say, can I like trigger them all? But yeah, there we go. If I could just run up, make them all come out. I'm starting to feel like my weapon is okay. Oh, gloves finally. Plus 20 health, that's fine. Cloister. I want to go to the Cloister, dude. One of the funniest Pokemon Gen 1. Oh, shit. It's angelic. Oh, a freebie. Give hope. Eight. The harlot. Hello, harlot. Sick. That's beautiful, dude. So I got a... Damn. Okay, so I got to bring eight. Damn, there's so much stuff to like unlock and gain. So this is where all your decision making comes in because there's different areas where you can get like more treasure. You can open up different doorways, different pathways, get this, get that. You can go back to the main hub area and open up new things like the forge or upgrade your, your merchant so that your merchant's better. There's a lot of different options for, for how you want to unlock things and in what order. I like it, dude. I like it. Because now I'm like, I'm compelled. I want to go back to the cloister and, damn, he threw that fast. And and give the eight to, to the harlot and see what she does. Because she gave me 20 hope by talking to her. Maybe she gives you like a ton of hope whenever you go to her. Like the more you upgrade her, the more hope she gives. That'd be great. One little old fella left remaining? Where? Where? Where the hell are you, you little son of a bitch? You hiding over here? Be slain. Thanks for the hope. And all of this after I, I went into the deficit by digging in graves, and then the harlot comes along and is just like, you know, angelic AF. And I'm okay afterwards. Leather gloves? More evasion? I'm naturally at least 20% dodgy. 25% dodgy. I forgot I had evasion. Yes, dude. I've been to the crypt. I haven't been to the atrium yet. Atrium? 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 Clear the archers. Wait, I have been here, haven't I? I swear I've been here. Big attack on you, because you're blue. There we go. I much prefer fighting skeleton guys as opposed to the the other dudes that have the spears. They're 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 way faster. Or the, the weird bandit dudes that lunge at you. He still shot me! I gotta get better at dodging, man. Uh No don't. Close, close. Couple of bucks, thank you. Oh dear. Oh, excellent, 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 excellent. Throw it. I think ranged weapons, if like you get good ranged weapons in this game, like like a really good staff or I don't know, spell casting things, can you get like like a staff? Magic, you know? If you get really good ranged weapons, gonna be amazing in a game like this. Melee is fine, but I guarantee your range is just so much smoother. There we go, and we've got... Well, no, I don't want to replace my, my dodgy shit. Why would I want to do that? Temple of Hope, we're out. So I'm meant to get four, plus we've got hope, so I'm going to get eight automatically just for, by doing this. Assuming I actually do get the four. Maybe there is, like, a gimmick to how much more... Is that, is, that, is that of consequence? Why is that one panel different? The celebratory tunic. You are healed whenever you evade an attack. Oh, I might buy that, dude. I'm on my way to... Dude, wait. That... Although it's only two health, but if I upgrade it, I get more healing. 
Ooh, I might buy and store that. I kind of want to just keep all of my... This is what I mean, dude. The, the selection of choice here. I could open this and talk to that guy. It looks like there's potions in there. He probably gives me the option to buy potions and, and you know, have supply to start with. We have a blacksmith in here. The craftsman. Wait, I can actually see his name. Hang on. Yeah, alchemist. Okay, so... Craftsman's gonna help me, I'm assuming, make new things. Then we have the coward down here. That's an eight door. The harlot! <gasps> I can just get to the harlot? Oh! I do like this system of having these resources that you're gonna gain incrementally more as you go. So you're not gonna, you know... Um, I'm not sure what the grind would be like. I imagine it's not terribly bad once you start getting a lot of these from higher level areas. But choice, dude. The choice alone is quite cool. Oh my god. Hang on. Oh shit, that's sexy, dude. Wow, I love that. That I I loved that. If I get like a whirlwind type of attack or like a big magic AoE spell like a meteorite or a big firestorm, that's gonna be just disgusting. The respite. I haven't been to the respite though. I need to go and see. I see I need to see. I need to show you guys what the respite is. Take a brief rest to mend. How cute. Oh, I didn't do the fire. I can enjoy the fire. Thank you. I forgot to do that. Unlock the door. <gasps> to the what? To the what plane? To the what plane? 50 hope. Ah. Uh... Survive. Survive the wave of dudes. How? How would why? Okay, so my attacks aren't fast enough to keep stunning them. I just need to be, like, more evasive. I need to, like, plan better. Yeah, they still go. They still go. Okay. So, when it says poise break, the little dudes have, like, piss all poise. Alright, what's my reward for beating up all of those? Uh, wanderer stuff. See, I really want to get, like, a really powerful, uh, like, ranged weapon to, to compensate and see what it's like. Because I think certain enemies might be better fought ranged and some enemies better fought close. But this is really strong. I just want to get more comparison. But it's, it's a tough dude when you've... Oh, kind of want to go to the slums. When you've already got, you know, a great weapon like I have. Which I'm assuming it's good. Maybe it's bad. Kill all the hopeless. Fair enough. Maybe my weapon isn't as good as I think it is. Maybe it's like kind of ass. I wouldn't know. Uh. Uh. But the synergy definitely feels good, right? Like, there's no way that my synergy is bad. I've got a legendary weapon uh, relic thingy that synergizes with my eyes. Ow, dude! Yeah, try me. Have that. Have that, you son of a bitch. There's nine remaining. Take that. I love this ice attack, dude. This, this power attack that I've got. I think power attacks are like the way to go. So having this this book that's doubling my power generation is really helping out. The lodge? Oh, it's the hat! Your attacks have a longer range. I mean I want to keep the evasion one on, but that's that's cute. Hang on, what what kind of difference are we looking at here? So standing still is that. Yeah, I can't really tell. <laughs> I can't tell the lodge. Defeat Ronan and Rourke. So here are the bosses. Okay, so I want to have potions ready. I've got my little potion. I've got movement speed increase. I've got life steal. And I've got increase the number of attacks you create. We're going to go blistering in here. Holy shit! Oh my god! Help! He is Beyblading me, dude. Jesus. Okay, this dude just... He's still spinning. Okay, this guy can be killed. He can, he can, he can die. He can die. I just have to do one swing at it. Oh my god. At a time. There we go. I've got him stuck in a loot. Oh, that other prick messed me up. There we go. One dead, one dead, one dead. Little mini heal. And we just bait this guy to waste his time spinning. Gotta kill this. Ah! 
this son of a bitch. Okay, he does like one damage every time he touches me. That's okay. Drink that. I could totally mess with the fetus right now. And just for fuck's sake, phrasing. But I could. Look at him running away. How much damage does it do? I should wait until he... Okay, if he summons more minions, then I'll worry about it. If he doesn't summon more minions just yet... Oh, dude, so he comes straight forward at the beginning. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three. I dodged too early. Okay, fetus! Okay, just killed all of them, but it didn't do anything to him. That's fine, that makes sense. Evasion! I'm a dodgy prick. I don't even know how that didn't touch me right there. Gotta be very careful. My dodge cooldown is just long enough that he's gonna keep clipping me right there. Take that. Oh, you're so close to dead. You're so close to dead. I need a better weapon. I need more damage. Yay! Die. Level cleared, plus 13 hope, and a big cool looking chest. S Wait! Named item based on the boss? Unique armor. It's Rourke's Kilt. That was the first guy I killed. You now dash with all of your attacks. Oh. Ten later, I've still got nine left over. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just open this. Pow. Hello there. Uh, let's have a chat, shall we? I was next to godhood in my ability, stranger. Things far too esoteric for you to possibly understand. Jealous, fearful, petty-minded men sent me here. Bah. And he does indeed sell potions. All right, let's open you up and see what you're all about, my friend. Hello there, craftsman. Who are you and what do you want? Because of, because of course you want something. I've, I've been, yeah. The damn ungrateful people, all you think about is yourselves. Me, me, me. Want to pay for a meld on your gloves or boots? Fine. Otherwise, piss off. What's a meld? Melding combines items of the same slot. Overlapping properties are av- What? That's expensive. That's fucking expensive. So it takes these stats and puts them on this one, but averages. Okay, this is really good. I've come back in to do another run on the level 5 dungeon to try and see if the mini bosses we just killed will drop different gear, if it's the same we're back at the cloister and I get a free one anyway that's fine so I can give her hope and see what happens ah she's now wearing like a like a burlap sack and she's sitting up so if I talk to you now you gave me like 20 before do you give me pretty 32 She's, she's the hope starter. Okay, and that's really good because there are certain things that require a lot of hope too. Like digging in the graves, opening up that extra passageway when you're at the respite. Yeah, dude. What the hell? Holy shit! Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot that my bloody chess piece dashes me. I dashed off the... Piss! Okay, came back in, killed the bosses again, get a regular chest at the end instead with a tattered jerkin. Okay, so you definitely are not as incentivized to come back and farm the bosses. You're incentivized to keep moving forward, which I do kind of appreciate. But the next one to worry about is I was thinking to myself, I'm getting gems based on my first time clearing. So I have two. If I pray to the goddess, I've got a lot of hope, by the way. I'm hoping I get five. There we go. So I got my five, and if I leave now, I shouldn't get any more because I think it's only plus five for the first time clearing. And that's not my first time clearing that, so we should only still be at seven. What? No, you can farm it. Okay, cool. So you can't farm the gear, but you most definitely can't farm the hope stones. Okay. And that's into the Necro Veil. Another massive thank you to the developer, the solo developer. Remind yourself of that. This is very impressive for sending me an email with a code which I lost because I'm an idiot and I'm bad at what I do. But nevertheless, big thank you for letting me know about your awesome game and everyone be sure to check it out over on Steam if you're interested. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little peek into the Necro Veil. Ah, see what I did there? And I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.